Computational memory can be stored by utilizing artificial nanofluidic synapses. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Today we will delve into the fascinating work of the Laboratory of Nanoscale Biology, LBN, at EPFL's School of Engineering. Their groundbreaking achievement involves the development of a nanofluidic memristive device that revolutionizes computational memory storage by utilizing ions instead of electrons. This innovative device surpasses previous attempts in terms of scalability and performance. In fact, the researchers have successfully connected two artificial synapses, a significant milestone towards the creation of liquid hardware inspired by the human brain. Moving forward, their objective is to establish a network of highly asymmetric channels, HX, integrated with water channels, ultimately leading to the realization of fully liquid circuits. The potential applications for this technology are vast, ranging from brain-computer interfaces to advancements in neuromedicine. Now, without further delay, let us commence our discussion on this exciting topic. The act of storing information in a convenient manner, commonly known as memory, plays a vital role in both computer systems and the human brain. However, there exists a fundamental distinction between the two. While the brain conducts computations directly on stored data, Computers rely on the continuous transfer of data between a memory unit and a central processing unit, CPU. This inefficient separation, often referred to as the von Neumann bottleneck, is a significant factor contributing to the escalating energy consumption of computers. For several decades now, scientists have been dedicated to studying and developing the memory store a remarkable electronic component that possesses the ability to both compute and store data, much like a synapse in the brain. However, Alexandra Rodenovich of EPFL's School of Engineering, based in the Laboratory of Nanoscale Biology, LBN, has taken this concept a step further. Her focus lies on creating a nanofluidic memristive device that operates using ions instead of electrons and their counterparts, known as holes. This innovative approach aims to closely replicate the brain's highly efficient method of information processing. According to Radenovich, while memory stores have been utilized in the construction of electronic neural networks, their objective is to develop a nanofluidic neural network that capitalizes on variations in ion concentrations, mirroring the behavior of living organisms. LBN postdoctoral researcher Theo Emmerich announces the development of a highly scalable and efficient nanofluidic device for memory applications. This groundbreaking achievement has allowed for the successful connection of two artificial synapses, marking a significant advancement in brain-inspired liquid hardware. The study, recently published in Nature Electronics, showcases the potential of LBN's MemRestore, which can manipulate various ions to switch between on and off conductance states. While traditional electronic memory stores rely on electrons and holes for digital processing, Ilben's device utilizes potassium ions in an electrolyte water solution, although other ions like sodium and calcium could also be used. According to Emmerich, our device's memory can be fine-tuned by altering the ions used, resulting in variations in its switching capabilities and memory capacity. Using a silicon nitride membrane, researchers at EPFL's Center of Micro Nanotechnology constructed a device on a chip by forming a nanopore at its core. Nanochannels for ions were established by incorporating palladium and graphite layers. As an electric current traverses the chip, the ions navigate through the channels and converge at the pore, generating a blister between the chip surface and the graphite due to the pressure. The rising graphite layer enhances conductivity, causing the device to switch to its on memory state. This state is retained even in the absence of a current as the graphite layer remains elevated, effectively remembering its previous state. By applying a negative voltage, the layers are brought back into contact, resetting the memory to the off state. According to Yunfei Teng, a PhD student at Elben who contributed to the fabrication of the devices, the structural changes that occur within a synapse in the brain closely resemble the biological process, making it an apt mimicry. These devices, known as highly asymmetric channels, HACs, are named after the shape of the ion flow towards the central pores. According to Nathan Ronceret, a PhD student at LBN, the team's ability to witness the HAC's memory function in real time 
is a groundbreaking accomplishment. Given that we were studying an entirely unprecedented memory phenomenon, we constructed a microscope specifically designed to observe its activity. Through a collaboration with Ricardo Chiesa and Eduardo Lopriore from the Laboratory of Nanoscale Electronics and Structures, headed by Andras Kies, the team of researchers successfully established a connection between two HACs using an electrode, resulting in the creation of a logic circuit that operates based on the flow of ions. This groundbreaking achievement marks the first instance of digital logic operations being executed using synapse-like ionic devices. However, the researchers are not content to stop there. Their next objective is to interconnect a network of hacks with water channels, thereby constructing fully liquid circuits. By incorporating water, not only will this approach provide an inherent cooling mechanism, but it will also facilitate the development of biocompatible devices with promising applications in brain-computer interfaces and neuromedicine. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.